Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamno. Today I'm going to be reviewing Apu Pure Block Daily Sun Cream in SPF 45 PA++++. If this is something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Apu Pure Block Daily Sun Cream comes in 50 ml tube. It retails for $7 up. You can also get this cheaper right now. Link to purchase this is in the description box. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to do the hand swatch now, then the face application afterwards. Um, for me to do the hand swatch, I'm going to shake it a bit. Always shake your sunscreen, um, especially when you keep it on your tabletop. Just shake it, or even in your handbag, shake it so that the whole thing will mix together. This is the Apu Pure Block Sun Cream. It does have a fragrance to it, but I'll come to that later. I took too much to apply, but it's okay. So this blends in beautifully. No white cast isn't shiny and it's still taking time to dry a bit of like moisturizing factor to it so this is the apu and here is without the apu do you see any difference so now it's time for me to apply this to my face i'm going to use the three finger method as usual just roll it down down that's it Take a good look at my face right now so that we'll know if this is going to leave me shinier, matte. So this is what my face looks like. I'm going to warm this product up. That's it. And now we apply. area too to know if this is going to sting my eyes so are you guys missing anything um normally when you apply your sunscreen you're supposed to wait for like about 15 minutes before you step out i must have been out here but i just want to like give it some time to see if this glue i see is gonna reduce a bit because i'm a bit blurry so this is giving me glow how does this feel on the skin slash the texture so this sunscreen has a creamy texture, it is lightweight, absorbs beautifully into the skin, it is moisturizing and it doesn't leave you with a cast. What finish does this leave your skin? So this leaves me with a dewy look. It's not, I look glowy but I'm not oily. I don't know if that makes sense. I am not oily but there's a glow to this sunscreen. What filters does this contain? It contains avobenzone, tinosub S, enzolizo, octisalate and octinosate. Other ingredients include watermelon extract, aloe vera extract, panthenol and vitamin E. What kind of sunscreen is this? So this is a chemical sunscreen but there are three kinds of sunscreen. There's the chemical, there's the mineral and there is the hybrid. So the mineral one contains either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide while the hybrid sunscreen is a combination of both the chemical um, filters and the mineral filters. So this particular sunscreen is actually a chemical sunscreen. I hope I didn't confuse you. Who is this sunscreen best recommended for? It didn't stay on the website so basically I, I, I want to assume that it is for every skin type or in my opinion I think anybody can use this sunscreen. It's very very lightweight I must say. I feel like I don't have anything on my skin so I can recommend this sunscreen to anybody. If you're wondering I do have a combination to oily skin and i think it's fine on my skin anyway i think i'll do a wear test come back in an hour to show you guys what my face looks like does this sunscreen contain alcohol or fragrance it is alcohol free but it does have a sweet fruit like scent which does fade away but it's not overpowering whatsoever i do like it <laughs> i like um fruity perfumes yeah sweet perfumes i love it so I don't have a problem if my product has a sweet scent. I rather a sweet scent than a chemical scent. If that makes sense. If you didn't know, Apu is a daughter brand to Misha. That's the famous Misha brand. I reviewed some sunscreens by Misha. If you're wondering what sunscreens I'm talking about, just tap the link right here. So I can compare this Apu sunscreen to the Misha 
essence zone they have about the same texture if you ask me just that this one contains alcohol but this one is alcohol free this is what i'm talking about i hope it does focus though so i need to record another video right now like there's lights i don't want to joke with this light because once they cut the light off i'm going to put on gin and there'll be gin noise. so this is my face 30 minutes after application i still do not have any shine like i still do not have any shine so i like this finish it just reminds me of the misha essence tone i would have you know done a comparison but there's no point if you want to see a video on the misha essence tone the link is just right up on the screen check that out and yeah you'll be fine so it's exactly like the misha um essence tone the only difference is that one contains alcohol and the other doesn't so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please give it a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one but let me know in the comment section if you've tried out this product you intend purchasing it and what you think about it overall until next time i'll see you guys in my next one